Okay, so this is my work in progress library to work with SF2D for 3DS, obviously. Right now it's focusing on um, adding support for animations, which is running through a bunch of images in a sprite sheet one after the other, just like changing images once a frame, and entities, which is where you can add a animation, it's like a structure of an animation position, um, speed, is it player controlled, is it AI controlled, etc. And entities let you render a bunch of them at once with one command. These three links are all rendering with uh, one line of just uh, st underscore render, or st underscore entities underscore render. And as you can see on the bottom, Entity 0 is controlled with D-pad. Entity 2 is controlled with D-pad. That is, um, if I move them, the faster one is Entity 0. The slower one is Entity 2. The one that's not moving is Entity 1. Um, and the reason the one's moving faster is because the faster one is a speed value of 2. The slower one has a speed value of 1. If I push select, I have put in a bunch of different methods of uh, moving. So you got circle pad, circle pad, and D-pad. You've got the C-stick. You've got, oh, that was the start button. Um, let me load this quickly before my phone runs out of memory because my phone's very full. Uh, so let me get back to C-stick, ABXY on this side. You've got L and R to move left and right. And then I have another one for those of you who are insane, where it also uses ZR and ZL to move up and down. And we've got touch screen where if I touch down, it moves down, touch right, it moves right, up, up. And it has speeds, depending on how far away from the center you are. And that's what I have to report right now. And I will keep you updated.